always a priority in raising them healthy chickens mean a better profit for your hatchery to keep your birds healthy and free of poultry diseases your biosecurity needs to be up to snuff in kilimo chapa we give you tips on how to treat and prevent your birds from these common diseases kilimo chapa in Kilimo Chapa, today we will learn more about the common chicken diseases, the poultry diseases, symptoms, and how to treat most of these chicken sicknesses, as well as how to prevent chicken diseases. Chickens, ducks, geese, turkeys, quails, guinea fowls, and most other poultry birds commonly suffer from a variety of poultry diseases and health conditions. Maintaining peak levels of poultry health is vital for farmers and producers wishing to give their flocks of fighting chance. A healthy chicken, whether a broiler, layer, or a free-range chicken is one that has regular access to optimal nutrient intake. While many drugs are available for improving chicken health, supplements and additives are highly effective at boosting the immune system and supporting healthy functions. Many common poultry diseases including fowl cholera, botulism and marex disease can be mitigated or even avoided by improving diets and relieving elements that could contribute to poultry stress. For some of the most severe diseases and health afflictions, vaccines, antibiotics and other treatments may be required. However, even in situations that require the use of drugs, chickens will have a greater chance of survival if they have been given required portions of nutrients to sustain health. Some chicken diseases such as polarum disease, infectious coryza, and infectious bronchitis can go virtually undetected for days or weeks on end, while other backyard chicken diseases can kill chickens within a matter of hours. Here are some of the most common chicken and poultry diseases and how to treat them. The first one is fall pox. If you notice your chickens developing white spots on their skin, scabby sores on their combs, white ulcers in their mouth or trachea, and their laying stops, then you should grow concerned that your chicken are developing fowl pox. There is no cure for fowl pox, but there are comfort measures that can be provided for affected chickens as well as preventative measures to avoid secondary bacterial infections caused by the lesions. Unaffected birds can be vaccinated during an outbreak. Fall pox is a virus and cannot be treated with antibiotics, which are all designed to fight bacteria, not viruses. However, secondary infections are common fall pox for the dry form. Triple antibiotic ointments and creams can be priceless in treating the external sores. It's common drugs such as alicerol, nemovit, Sulfur fox and ESB3 can be used to treat fall pox. If mosquitoes and other insects that bite poultry are a challenge in your area, use cyslin to control the insects. Individual birds infected with dry pox usually recover in two to four weeks, but it may take several weeks or months for the entire flock to recover because the fowl pox virus spreads slowly throughout the flock. You can feed them soft food and give them a warm and dry place to try and recoup. With adequate care, there is a great chance that your birds can survive this illness. The second common disease is botulism. Botulism is another potentially lethal disease. Can you see tremors in your chicken? If so, these tremors could extend to take hold of the rest of your chicken's body and eventually kill them. It is a disease caused by the ingestion of a toxin produced by the Clostridium botulinum bacterium. All domestic fowl and most wild birds are susceptible to the toxin's effects. If your chickens contract this disease, it means that there has been some type of dead meat left near their food and water which contaminated it. 
Another symptom to keep an eye out for is if feathers fall out too easily. Fortunately, there are treatment options worth looking into. If the disease is still in its infancy, you can feed your chicken Epsom salts with warm water. There is also an antitoxin that can be purchased from your local vet which can be effective to some extent. If you catch the disease early enough, you can mix one teaspoon of Epsom salts with one ounce of warm water. You can give it to them by dropper once daily. A third common disease is foul cholera. Foul cholera is a highly contagious bacterial disease that affects poultry birds. It is caused by Pastorella multocida and could be transmitted through ingestion of contaminated food and water or from a curry host chicken. It can be caught from a range of rodents and animals including birds and raccoons. Are your chickens suffering from a yellow diarrhea? Do they have a darkened head or appear to have difficulty moving? These could all be signs that your chicken has contracted the foul cholera disease. Foul cholera can be treated with penicillin, streptomycin, erythromycin, tetracyclines, and sulfonamides. You will need to administer drugs for a long term because the disease usually returns after stopping medication. To prevent foul cholera, administer foul cholera vaccine and maintain a high level of farm hygiene and sanitation. Prevent rodents, cats and wild birds from gaining access to the pen. The fourth disease is infectious bronchitis. This is a rapid, sudden and high contagious viral poultry disease. It's caused by a coronavirus and could be transmitted through the air, contaminated materials and carrier host. This highly contagious disease is airborne, meaning your chickens can catch it extremely easy. Abnormal respiratory sounds, snoring, gasping, sneezing and coughing, watery nozzle discharge, ocular discharge and swelling of the face, reduced egg production and poor eggshell quality. All of these could be clear signs that your chicken is infected. Infectious bronchitis has no specific treatment, but you can administer antibiotics in mixed infections. You should also take affected chickens to a warm, dry place to recover. Some farmers have tried warm herb tea and fresh herbs, and they claim they worked. Use drugs such as respimint, coloxan, doxin, interflux, and coliflux. To prevent infectious bronchitis, vaccinate your chickens against the disease and maintain proper ventilation of chicks. Infectious coryza. Infectious coryza or foul coryza is a severe respiratory disease that affects chicken and it could be sudden. This disease is common in layers and broilers and it can be caused by Haemophilus paragallinarum. It could be transmitted through water contaminated with nose discharges through the air or through direct contact with an infected chicken. You will know that your birds have caught this disease when their heads become swollen their eyes will swell shut and their combs will also swell. Then the discharge will begin to flow from their eyes and noses. They will stop laying and will have moisture under their wings. Infectious coryza can be treated with antibiotics and sulfur drugs, oxytetracycline, enfrocloxacin, trimethoprim, and sulfur drug can be combined to treat infectious coryza. Other drugs that can also be used include respimint, coloxan, doxin, interflux, and coliflux. Chickens can be protected from this disease through vaccination. Dispose all infected chickens or those that have recovered sanitation and hygiene and avoid keeping chickens of different ages together. Kilimu Chapa. Well, a nice piece there. Stay tuned for the second part of the sim. And that's.